This is a very historical water that I'm fishing at the moment. It's got loads of history and it's got one particular carp in it that I'd really, really like to catch. It's uh, an old mirror which is over sort of 40 years old now and it's known as Pinky. It topped out at 38 and a half last year. I know it was also caught around the 37 pound mark as well. So, you know, that size of fish up here is a, is a really, really fantastic target. But this particular fish, it's got to be well over 40 years old. I've some photographs of it from the 1980s, 1982, when it weighed 16 pounds. And in fact, Paddy Webb in our Carp Talk office says he caught this fish in the 1970s as well, when it was a lot smaller than that. So, you know, you're talking about a really, really old carp, which could be the same sort of age as I am. But as a venue, it's a really, really special water as well, because although it was carp fished in the 70s and 80s, it really got forgotten about during the 90s and the early part of the millennium. I was told about um, there being some nice carp in here many moons ago by Paddy and, uh, and one or two other lads, but because it's been really overgrown and, and sort of neglected, I sort of just thought, yeah, OK, it's probably just one of those rumours, but it wasn't until last year, which was 2015, when I saw a couple of photographs of a really big common and a big mirror, which was uh, reported from, from West Yorkshire, and it caught me attention, that did, because the big carp in the north, and I, I then started asking a few questions and making a few inquiries with a, a lot of the older generation carpers in the region, and put the pieces together with a jigsaw, and uh, this is where we ended up in this water, which is in North Lincolnshire, it's nowhere near West Yorkshire. So, as a venue, it really has got under my skin, because there's two carp in here, one of which is 25 pounds, which I caught last year when I first came on the water, and the other one, which is Pinky. There did used to be a common in here, which is a really, really awesome fish of around about 38, 39 pounds, but unfortunately that one's been moved. But last year when I came on here, I did just sort of creep around and, and try and sort of ambush the carp off the top, but they proved to be quite hard to get, especially the big and pinky. He's very, very cute off the top. He does like mixes. I've seen him taking quite a few, but mainly he sort of, you know, he sort of ignores most of the things that are thrown at him, taking the odd random one. But I was fortunate enough to catch the, the number two fish in the lake, a, a really, really gorgeous 25-pound wheel, which we'll have a look at now. And then we'll progress on to one or two video snippets that I've, I've put together during the course of, of the last sort of few months whilst I've been fishing on here. Right. I'm shaking at the moment, and I've not actually caught anything. But down there... Is one colossal carp. And believe me, that fish has got to be close to 40 pounds. It's massive. It really is a big fish. There's a couple of carp down there. One probably about mid 20s. And then that one. It's a mirror, and uh, it really is a big old lump. So I'm going to have a go for it in a minute myself into a marginal spot over there and uh, see if we can stalk him. But believe me, that is a big fish. Big, big fish. I've had a good old look at him from one of the trees over there. And he's a big carp. He really is. Not very often fish get me to the point of uh, shaking. That one has, there's the other one behind him. You can just see the reeds over the back there. That's the other fish. But that's the one. That is a kipper, I'm telling you, that is a kipper. That's easy. C close to 40 pounds. It was a huge fish. Right, sir. Uh, popped out to the lake again and uh, found a two fish, the same two fish that I filmed the other day and just caught the smallest of the two and this weighed in at 25 and a quarter so I don't know how big the other one is but it certainly looks a lot bigger than this fish hell of a lot bigger maybe close to 40 maybe 36, 37, don't know but he's very very big um, caught him off the top this one right old fight, caught him in close in and then uh, had to go out up to me neck to get him because uh, I'm not sure how many times he's been up before but Certainly looking at his mouth, he's, he's immaculate. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Stunning. Very, very privileged to catch it. There we go. Absolutely convinced there's only two fish in this lake. And that's the second biggest one of the two.
Well, I fished my first overnight last night on the lake and didn't get anything. Uh, just on dark last night, the, both the fish that I've, uh, I've been seeing regularly in here were lingering in this corner. The one that I caught the other day and, uh, and obviously the big one as well. Now, uh, during the course of the last week, I have been putting a bit of bait in this corner, but I think because I landed that fish the, um, the other day from just down in the bushes to the right down here, for all the overgrowth, which is just down here, I landed it from, uh, from in here. Went into there with a little scope and uh, climbed the tree and jumped out of the tree and landed it. And um, but because it's not too far away from where I'm fishing at the moment, I think it probably spooked me a little bit because uh, they haven't really been getting into this corner as much as I have been seeing them. Now, last night they were in there, but they've been in this area of the lake quite a lot prior to me catching that fish the other day so I don't know whether they're slightly spooked or what but uh, not had anything so I'm going to come back to today after work and see if I can uh, manage to stalk them off the top and get them going on bread and mixers and stuff. End of March 2016, and that's what I'm looking at at the moment. It's like fishing the Orient, just got mud everywhere, and the water level's quite high, as you can see. This is normally a like a split that's, that sort of sticks out right in the middle of the lake, and just in the distance there, you can see my two rods that I've got over there. I've got them on a remote. No way I can put my bivy up over there. It is just probably three or four inches of water and uh, not really the sort of thing to fish an overnighter so I've just got those two rods there and I've just got this uh, other one down here but it's tipping it down I've fished quite a few nights now in March and not had anything and when you're fishing for two carp obviously you expect to sit there through the blanks that is what carp fishing does to you can't catch all the time unless you fish one of these day ticket waters that's uh, really heavily stocked but I'm fishing for a carp that I really want to catch and luckily the other day I saw a fish wash out the water clean out the water it's the first time I've ever seen on this lake just on the far margin over there so they are moving but unfortunately at the moment I've not had anything so I know it's only a matter of time though we're coming up to a really good time to fish up here in the north which is like April time but there is a chance at any moment that one of these rods can go because this fish does feed it was caught definitely a couple of times last year so uh, I'd love to get him certainly like to get him before uh, the end of April if I can because uh, I want to start my other water but uh, that's what we're looking at at the moment some really really uncomfortable conditions packing up in the morning, heading off to work, getting here again, straight after work, and setting up again. But luckily at the moment, I'm the only one that's been fishing the lake. I know there are a couple of other lads with tickets, so it's only a matter of time till they start coming down, I would have thought. But um, it is known for being a tough venue with only two carp in it. There's a few lads that do say there's more in here, but I don't know what they're seeing. Because on a warm day, you can see all the carp in here. And I've walked around here countless times in the summer months and there's definitely only two. Well there you go. End of March 2016, hopefully one of the next videos we might be seeing the fish in my hands, if I'm lucky. Right, there he is. That is the fish that I want to catch. two carp in the lake and he's definitely a big fish a 
Couldn't be fish for this area anyway. Last capture was Lee Mason, 38 pound six, which was August last year, so he's not been out for a while. We're on the last day of March now. And he's definitely still in the lake, which is good to know. Big old lump of a fish. Not bad for this far north anyway. So I'd like to catch him. And he's over 40 years old as well. So that is good to see. Cruising around on the surface. Big old northern fish. Love to have him in my arms. Oi oi, absolutely made up. Finally got the one. Fish known as Pinky, real old kipper. Really, really old fish this. You may have seen a few uh, of my films that I, I sort of shot earlier in the year when I was down here in really, really crappy conditions. And uh, I've, I've persevered in between fishing on me, uh, me North Link Syndicate water and uh, chased him all around the pond a few times over the last few weeks now. But uh, just, just seen him down in this little back channel today and uh, got here about four o'clock or something like that. Saw him and his mate, there's only two of them in here. Uh, just sort of really, really deep, huddled up on the bottom out there and uh, just dropped the baits in, in place really, really quietly and uh, sat back, just had some tea. And yep, yeah, just got him. Mega fight, mega, mega chuff to, to get him as well because he's a real old history fish, this one is. Really, really old. Got photographs of him from when he was uh, caught in the 19, 1980s. So, yep, chuffed a bit. So, uh, let's get him weighed in and let's have a look at him on the bank. Right, I finally got Pinky. I'm absolutely made up, I really am. Arrived here around about four o'clock this, uh, this afternoon and saw the fish in the back bay. And, yep, a short while later, I've got him on the bank and I'm so chuffed because uh, I've seen him so many times in the water and he's always seemed to be very, very cagey. Certainly on the top he is, and uh, you know, for a really, really old fish, he's seen a lot of pressure over the years, so it doesn't surprise me. But uh, he's finally tripped up for a bit of the old key stabilised. Really, really chuffed. That's the, the second target fish that I've had this year. So already 2016, he's looking very promising. Mega, mega chuffed. That's Pinky, one of the oldest carp in the region and a fish I'm very, very chuffed to catch. I've got photographs of him from the 1980s, so uh, buzzing, there he goes. None the worse for the wear. Gone underneath, there you go. Awesome, there he goes, through the reeds. Mega stuff, see you later, Pinky. Very, very happy with that.